The YF-23, a cool stealth fighter, was part of a competition called the Advanced Tactical Fighter, or ATF, program back in the late 1980s and early 1990s. The ATF program's goal was to create a new super-awesome fighter plane for the US Air Force that could take on the Soviet Union's Su-27 and MiG-29, which were significant threats at the time. The YF-23 was designed and manufactured by the Northrop and McDonnell Douglas partnership. It had some sleek features, like a diamond-shaped wing, a sleek body, and fancy materials. Even though it was better at being stealthy and faster than its competition, the YF-22, it ended up losing to the YF-22. The YF-22 then became the F-22 Raptor. By the end of 1986, two manufacturing teams had been selected to develop next-generation fighter aircraft. One team was Northrop Grumman and McDonnell Douglas, while the other team included General Dynamics, Boeing, and Lockheed. Notably, both Lockheed and Northrop since they knew a lot about fighter planes and advanced flight control systems, made their awesome airplane dream come true. Lockheed had already achieved a significant milestone with the development of the F-117 Nighthawk, the first stealth aircraft to ever be deployed. On the other hand, although Northrop had previously competed with Lockheed for the same contract without success, they persevered and continued refining their stealth concept, ultimately leading to the remarkable B-2 Spirit, which continues to be used. The YF-23 was created in the early 1980s, when Northrop started developing a stealthy fighter idea called Senior Sky. They had already learned a lot about stealth from making the B-2 Spirit bomber, so they used some of that knowledge to design the fighter plane. Back in 1986, the US Air Force initiated a program called ATF. They invited different aerospace companies to submit their best designs. The program had specific requirements for the aircraft, such as the ability to achieve excellent maneuverability, high speeds without consuming excessive fuel, stealth capabilities, and advanced onboard technology. The Air Force also stipulated that each company had to produce and test two prototype planes. Northrop and McDonnell Douglas participated in the competition and presented their designs for the YF-23. It was also referred to as the Black Widow II due to its inspiration from the World War II P-61 night fighter. The YF-23 prioritized stealth and exceptional flight performance rather than focusing on extreme agility as the YF-22 did. Instead of employing a specialized engine control method like the YF-22, the YF-23 utilized conventional control circuits. Surfaces. One of its notable features was the diamond-shaped wing, which seamlessly blended with the main body. This wing design reduced air resistance, facilitated better flight stability, and could readjust its shape based on the aircraft's flight conditions. The YF-23, developed for the ATF program, was an exceptional aircraft that demonstrated advanced technology and impressive capabilities. It was powered by two specially designed Pratt & Whitney YF-119 PW100 engines, which featured a unique three-dimensional thrust vectoring nozzle. This innovative design allowed the aircraft to change direction by up to 20 degrees, giving it enhanced control and stabilization. Additionally, the YF-23 had an advanced augmentation system capable of boosting its thrust by 50% when necessary. Even without utilizing afterburners, the YF-23 could reach speeds faster than Mach 2, and it boasted an impressive range of over 2,000 miles. To achieve stealthiness, the YF-23 incorporated cutting-edge materials and coatings that significantly reduced its visibility to enemy radar systems, making detection more challenging. The aircraft's low infrared Red signature was achieved by cleverly positioning the exhaust nozzles within the engine nacelles, concealed by the fins of its tail. Furthermore, the YF-23 exhibited a reduced acoustic signature, emitting less noise compared to other fighter aircraft. The YF-23 featured a pro-avionics suite that showcased its superiority in multiple aspects. Among its various systems were an infrared search and track system, a data link system, an electronic warfare system, and a multifunctional array radar. The infrared search and track system was specifically designed to detect and track heat sources such as missiles or engines. The data link system facilitated secure and confidential communication with other aircraft, satellites, or ground stations. Equipped with an electronic warfare system, the YF-23 possessed the capability to jam enemy radars and deceive missiles, ensuring self-protection. 
The multifunctional array radar, a type of radar, enabled simultaneous scanning of multiple targets and provided detailed imaging for enhanced situational awareness. The YF-23 also boasted impressive features like its internal weapons bay, capable of accommodating up to six air-to-air -air missiles such as the AIM-120 AMRAAM or AIM-9 Sidewinder. This internal configuration minimized drag and enhanced stealth while simultaneously improving the aircraft's performance. Additionally, the YF-23 featured four external hardpoints beneath its diamond-shaped wings, allowing for the carriage of fuel reserves and additional ammunition when stealth considerations were not paramount. A standout characteristic of the YF-23 was its diamond-shaped wing, a masterful design that combined both stealth and aerodynamic efficiency. The wing featured a high aspect ratio and a significantly greater span than the cord. This high aspect ratio effectively reduced drag and caused the lift to increase, thereby enhancing the aircraft's overall performance. Furthermore, the wing incorporated a variable chamber, enabling it to adapt its curvature for optimal maneuverability in diverse flight conditions. The seamless integration of the wing with the fuselage created a cohesive lifting body, minimizing airflow disruptions and reducing pressure drag. The wing's sharp leading edge effectively reduced radar waves away from the aircraft, rendering it more elusive to radar detection. By seamlessly integrating the fuselage and the wing, the aircraft had a smooth surface that reduced drag and minimized its radar visibility. This design also provided more internal space, allowing for increased storage of avionics, fuel reserve, and extra ammunition. The blended body design also enhanced the aircraft's stability and maneuverability by optimizing the size of the tail surfaces and minimizing the wing's tendency to pitch. To enhance the YF-23's lightness and stealth capabilities, advanced materials and coatings were used. The primary structure of the YF-23 consisted of durable and lightweight composite materials, such as graphite epoxy and carbon fiber reinforced plastic. These materials surpass traditional metals in terms of strength and weight reduction. In specific components, aluminum and titanium alloys were strategically used to leverage their unique properties. The YF-23 also had special materials that absorbed radar waves and used specialized paint to reduce reflectivity and minimize heat emission thus further decreasing its visibility on infrared and radar sensors. The YF-23 was equipped with two advanced turbofan engines, providing robust thrust and the ability to supercruise. These engines were the outcome of a collaboration between two renowned manufacturers, Pratt & Whitney and General Electric. By incorporating one engine from each manufacturer in the YF-23 prototypes, the United States Air Force, USAF, effectively compared their performance and reliability. The YF-23 fighter aircraft was meticulously designed to possess exceptional stealth capabilities and achieve high-speed performance. These features enabled it to effectively evade detection and engagement by enemy forces. With an impressively low radar cross-section, the YF-23 was nearly invisible to most radar systems. The YF-23 has an extensive operational range, capable of covering over 2,000 miles without external fuel tanks and surpassing almost 3,000 miles with the assistance of external tanks. The YF-23, unlike its rival YF-22, focused more on stealth and aerodynamic efficiency than agility, resulting in some compromises in maneuverability. It utilized conventional control surfaces instead of thrust vectoring, which restricted it from performing certain advanced maneuvers such as the Colbit or the Cobra. Additionally, the YF-23 had a lower wing loading compared to the YF-22, affecting its lifting and turning capabilities. It also it also had a notable feature known as the variable camber wing, enabling it to adapt its shape based on flight conditions. This characteristic enhanced its performance in various situations and further contributed to its maneuverability. Its uniquely shaped body and wings and advanced materials caused it to be very stealthy and notably faster compared to the YF-22. Despite its impressive qualities, the YF-23 was not selected as the winner of the ATF program. During test flights, the United States Air Force found that the YF-22 existed 
exhibited greater agility than the YF-23, which impressed them and provided the YF-22 with a competitive advantage. In terms of costs, the YF-23 turned out to be more expensive to manufacture than the YF-22. Its utilization of advanced materials and technologies increased its maintenance requirements. The YF-23 extensively employed composite materials, which are lighter and stronger than conventional metals, but are also costlier and more challenging to produce and repair. Moreover, the YF-23 featured engines capable of switching between different modes to enhance efficiency and stealth. But these engines were more intricate and prone to reliability issues. The YF-23 faced a challenge from the United States Air Force as they showed a preference for the YF-22 due to several reasons. The USAF had a stronger connection with Lockheed compared to Northrop, primarily because Lockheed had successfully developed fighters like the F-16 and the F-117 for the USAF previously. Meanwhile, Northrop focused more on bombers like the B-2. Also, Lockheed had a reputable track record of completing projects on time and within budget, instilling great to trust in their program management abilities. In contrast, Northrop had a history of delays and exceeding planned expenditures like the B-2 Spirit Stealth Bomber and some other projects. In terms of design, the USAF favored Lockheed's approach over Northrop's. Lockheed placed more emphasis on agility and thrust vectoring rather than solely focusing on stealth and aerodynamics. This alignment with the USAF's requirements for the Advanced Tactical Fighter ATF program made them prefer the YF-22. Also, the USAF found Lockheed's marketing strategy more appealing as they presented their aircraft excitingly and convincingly, highlighting their strengths and capabilities. Conversely, Northrop took a more reserved and secretive approach to promoting its aircraft. The YF-22 surpassed it due to its superior agility and enhanced thrust control capabilities. Consequently, the development of the YF-23 ceased in 1991, and today the two prototypes can be seen in museums. And that brings us to the end of this video. If you like this video, click on the screen to watch other videos like this one. Don't forget to like, subscribe and click on the notification bell to get notified when we post a new video.